Hey Fit Friends, it's me, Joy Francis of joyfitwool.com, bringing you another exercise video. But in today's video, we are going to do some hip stretches, hip exercises, just short, you know, just for you to be able to give those hips some love. All right, because if you're not giving them love, it's going to be hurting, it's going to be pain, and then it affects all the areas of your body. But before we jump into that, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. If you're not, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, guys, please let me know in the comments, hey, Joy, this really worked out for my hip. It didn't. Whatever it is, please say hello in the comments, all right? So we are going to jump into some exercises. We're going to do them for like a five count or maybe a 10 count, depending on how it flows. But get on your mat. Let's go. That's all you need. A mat all right you're gonna lay on your back we're gonna start off with some hip raise and then we're gonna move from there so oh. all right lay on your back nice and easy and you're gonna make sure feet flat all right and we're gonna raise hip raise one <laughs> two we only go in for five, three, four, and five. Just make sure and breathe, breathe, breathe. We're not doing an exercise video per se. We're just doing some stretches and mobility work for the hip, right? Now we're gonna do single leg hip raise. So you're gonna go one leg up, other leg flat, and we're gonna raise one, two, three, four, and five. Switch leg, other leg up. These might be a little bit difficult. If it is, please go ahead and do the straight, both legs flat on the ground, and you can do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Legs flat, come up. All right, we started off. Now, I want you to sit on your butt. You're gonna bend one leg. You're gonna bend the other leg with the foot facing the back, knees facing forward. And right here, we're going to side to side, move the legs side to side. I call this the hip dance. It's probably another name, who knows? <laughs> side to side, side to side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From this position, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna advance the move a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go one, down, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, one more, eight. All right. Whew. I am sure you are going to feel it. All right. Now we're going to do some deep, wide squat. So you want to come onto your fours. All right. Nice squat position, and you're gonna really go down into the squat right here. Wide, wide leg, and get the squat there. We're gonna walk the hands out a little bit and breathe and breathe. Try to keep the foot flat, walk it in. All right, push the knees, push on the knees with the elbow. And breathe everything you do is breathing is breath so I would love for you to just keep breathing keep sending the oxygen into your muscles and relax come back you're gonna go onto your back lay down we're gonna do what they call the figure four stretch most of you know this stretch so you're gonna put ankle on the knee 
whichever side you choose. I'm starting with the right side. All right, ankle roll on the knee, right here. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna bring the right hand on the inside of that leg, right inside the four right here. The other hand on the outside. You're gonna grab at your quads. You're gonna pull and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Now, if you feel like this is too easy, you're gonna push on the knee that's bent with one hand. You can hold the other leg, with the other hand, or you can bring both hands here and just push. Nice and easy push, feeling the stretch in the hips. All right, not too much. And breathe. And relax. All right, you're gonna do the other side. Ankles on the knee, nice and easy. Inhale, exhale. Again, one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside. Bring it in. And relax, breathe. If you feel like this is too easy again, push on the knee with the both hands here. Ooh, this is good stretch for me because I'm feeling it when I do this. Ooh, you should feel it in your hips, feel it on the outside of your legs, on outside of your glutes, the upper leg there. And relax. Ooh. Relax, come up, you're gonna go into pigeon stretch, all right? You know this stretch, some people can get into it, some people can't, but I want you to try your best, all right? On all fours, you're gonna come up into plank, swing the right leg forward, fix yourself if you need to, fix the leg if you need to, all right? Hold the stretch here, all right? Feet back, hold it. You're gonna go down and relax and breathe. Let's go down to the elbows. Really hang out here for a few. This is one of my favorite stretches to do for my hip. And breathe. You're gonna come up, press it up, and switch back into plank. Other leg out. I always say fix the leg because sometimes you might swing the leg forward and it doesn't go quite where you want it to go. So you can fix it with your hands. All right, stay in the position here. My left side is a little more tight than my right because I have some, you know, old injury on my piriformis from running on uneven surfaces. Stay up and then go down on the elbows and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Always breathe, breathe, breathe. I could not tell you enough to breathe when you're stretching. When you're exercising, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna come up, hold it, and come sit forward position. We're gonna sit in the butterfly pose. Hopefully you can get this. Uh, soul to soul. All right, you're gonna grab onto those toes. All right, both hands, clasp the toes together, and we're just gonna stretch forward and up. Inhale, forward. Exhale. Two more times, inhale and exhale. All right, inhale, exhale, trying to bring the head as close to the feet as possible without overstretching. All right, I'm right here, I'm gonna close, stretch out the leg, shake it out, shake it out, all right. Walking hips and relax. I hope this video helps you 
with your hip flexors, uh, with your hip strengthening exercise, a couple of them I did in there. So try them, hip raises, you can do it. You don't need equipment, you don't need anything, but jump on a mat, jump in your space and do some of these exercises. It's gonna help you in your rest and recovery. It's gonna help you in your everyday life. So please do them as often as you can to get those hips. Give them hip them some love. Just give them some love, all right? They do enough, enough work sitting and walking and all of these things. So guys, with that, with that guys, see you in the next video. Peace, love, and fitness. Don't forget to comment if you like the video. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't like. Let me know if you try these, how it worked, how those hips feeling when you tr finish trying it, all right?